met or metamphetamine has taken over the Indian drug party scene, leaving behind heroin and cocaine. And this is not limited to any particular Indian state, district or area. Slowly meandering into the Indian drug market, met or crystal meth consumption and smuggling is giving Indian investigative agencies a real hard time. And this is not just because MET is being smuggled into the country, but also because slowly over time, Indian markets are being occupied by small, tiny, clandestine, sophisticated, functional MET labs. On 17th May, the Greater Noida Police busted one such fully functional MET lab located in Greater Noida's Jaipur village. Now, this lab was set up in a rented accommodation in this village. The UP police busted this lab and arrested nine foreign nationals. These nine foreign nationals were apparently cooking meth in this lab for approximately almost a year. Police also seized chemicals and meth, high purity crystal meth worth rupees 200 crore. According to the sources in the Uttar Pradesh police, this particular building's two floors were rented out to nine foreign nationals who are now in police custody. They were rented out the two floors, the first and the second floor, for rupees 40,000. Now, according to the police, these nine foreign nationals were running the fully functional sophisticated lab for a period of almost a year. However, there's more to this. They were not just running a meth lab, but also dealing in what the police claim in the massive and large scale syndicate that ran across multiple states. These nine foreign nationals were also dealing in the meth produced in this very house across multiple areas, including the national capital. Police suspect that they might have potential terror links and that the accused were dealing in this mat produced here right behind us is cryptocurrencies. According to the relatives of the owners of the building and the police, the owners live in Ghaziabad. Now how did they continue to run this fully functioning meth lab for so long? We claim that this is because neighbors do not get a whiff of what was being cooked inside this building. As you can see behind us, this building stands among barren lands in a desolate and deserted area of Jaipur village. This area is extremely deserted and isolated and is surrounded by far-fetched barren lands. Which is why also the police claim that nobody suspected or got a whiff of that mat was being cooked here for such a long time. The Narcotics Control Bureau also recently caught a mothership in the Indian Ocean carrying 2,500 kgs of methamphetamine worth rupees 12,000 crore. The street price for methamphetamine in its purest form is 5 crore for 1 kg, which comes down to rupees 1,000 for 1 milligram. But most of it gets adulterated by the time it hits the streets. This particular mothership was on its way to Sri Lanka, sources in the NCB have told the print. According to sources in the NCB, it's only in the last four to five years that meth production and infiltration has increased in India. The main component in the production is ephedrine, which comes from the plant ephedra, also used for medicinal purposes like in cough syrups and other cold medicines. However, ephedra cultivation is unorganized in India. Agencies claim that ephedra and crystal meth smuggling into our country has increased after the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. Sources in the NCB have also told the print that all pharmaceuticals have to register with the agency and submit reports on the usage of ephedrine and the recent bust of labs have exposed a syndicate of the chemical being brought into the country and also some diversions leading to the growth of meth labs. The in-house production and also the ones that reach the Indian waters, drop packages and take off, reach Sri Lanka, Australia, New Zealand and other international markets. These consignments often arrive in two ways, declared as a different product on papers to bigger boats and secondly on smaller fishing vessels. Sometimes they are concealed in toys, containers and other times they are just packaged in plastic bags. In Northeast India, Yaba tablets, a combination of methamphetamine and caffeine, have been creating a menace for a while now, predominantly because it comes through different routes, air, water and land from Myanmar. 
easy production, availability of chemicals, growing network of foot soldiers and high potency of the drug are some of the reasons why met is slowly taking over the drug market. Local police and central agencies are now making coordinated attempts to launch a crackdown on both in-house met production and imports into the country. Neighbors here in UP's Jaipur village have told the print that they had no idea that met in such high quantity was being cooked in this very building for such a long time. This is because this building is situated in an extremely desolate and deserted locality. In fact, police sources have told us that the accused built a tentacular, well-functional and oiled, sophisticated drainage system so that the fumes, the litter and the waste can go out of the house without anyone suspecting. For The Print, this is Bismita Skin reporting from Gator Noida.